Did you know that a school got shut down because of all things Super Smash Bros Ultimate came out? And if you're a YouTuber, did you notice the big decrease in subscriber count from the 12th through the 14th? And I really want to talk about all these copyright claims that are being abused on YouTube on the daily. We're going to be touching on every one of those topics on this episode of Coob News. Can I just kick this off by saying thank you guys so much for one thousand subscribers that's right we just hit 1,000 subscribers on keeping up with gaming so this is kind of like the 100 so this is kind of like the 1,000 subscriber special episode for Christmas as long as it comes out on Christmas I think it'll come out on Christmas but again I really do appreciate it guys this is the first year that I've done YouTube and this is the second channel that I've gotten up to over a thousand subscribers starting off with keeping up with crypto and now keeping up with gaming I can't wait to see what 2019 has in store for me and the channel. And to commemorate this channel hitting 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of a Turtle Beach gaming headset. Pretty nice. Um, you're going to be obviously getting some new ones, not these. These are actually my pair, but I really do like them and they work really well. If you're going to be playing Fortnite, Call of Duty, PUBG, whatever you want to do, if you want to talk to your friends while listening in, these are the ones for you. I'm going to be dropping how to win this gaming headset in a future episode, so make sure to hit the bell notification button so you know when I post it. So keep an eye out there. I'm also probably going to post it on Instagram if you want to follow us there at Keeping Up With Gaming. Enough thank yous, enough everything. I'll let you get back to your episode of Coob News. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys, and I hope you got everything you wanted for Christmas, because I know I sure did. And one of those things being... Which, which I definitely asked for, and my mom definitely didn't just get this for me with, without telling me. It's, it's, it's this fantastic Fortnite hat. Look at, look at that, guys. Look, look at, isn't it glorious? Isn't it glorious? I love it so, so much. Well, I'm never wearing that in public. I was gonna wear this very nice uh, green sweater for this video. Unfortunately, it is green, and it me messes with me green screen yeah it messes with the green screen so I, I i really can't use it you know but that's okay let's just get on with this episode guys let's just do it so basically a school got shut down because a kid was excited about super smash bros like i could have got a school shut down who knew so let me give you a little bit of background to this a kid who's really excited about the new smash game who wouldn't be i mean it's it's, it's a it's freaking great. I love I love it so much. Goes into class and on the whiteboard in one of his classrooms draws the Smash logo. And then some kids or teacher or somebody mistakenly misinterpreted it for crosshairs and thought he was talking about shooting up the school. People are so sensitive these days. So this is the letter that they sent out to the parents and students trying to clear the air and explain what just exactly had happened. It was given out December 5th, 2018, which is actually two days before the Smash game actually released. It says, Dear blah 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 blah, because they didn't want to release any names. We don't even know the name of the school, actually, or the name of any of the students. It says, Students and Parents, This letter is to communicate to you the details of the rumored threat of a shooter on Friday, December 7th. First, I would communicate that the threat is nothing more than a rumor. Last Friday, there was a writing left on a classroom whiteboard that said December 7th, time 2, and then a drawing of the smash symbol. What the kid was really saying was, time to smash. But, somebody interpreted it differently, of course. And it says, there were some students who did not know what that symbol stood for and interpreted it as a threat of a school shooter on that day. As we would expect and encourage, this was a reported to the office as a concern. The situation was investigated and on in conjunction with the blank sheriff department, the symbol was found to be a symbol for a video game that is set to be released on Friday, December 7th. The statement on the board was merely a statement of anticipation for the release of a new video game. From this rumor began to spread and morph into a bigger and bigger issue. Several offshots of the rumor were reported to local police departments as well as to our offices. Each of those reports were thoroughly investigated and traced back to the original statement about the video game release date. With all the information presented to us, it has been determined that there was never any actual threat, just a misinterpretation of the message about the video game. 
We appreciate the report of suspicion and would ask that any time any of our students or parents have anything out of see anything out of the ordinary, please report to the proper authorities as done in this. People are dumb. Yeah, people are dumb. Uh, it, it's literally, it's a video game symbol. Like, if anybody would have looked up December 7th and just taken 10 seconds out of their day to look up December 7th, they would have seen the Smash symbol and they would have known it's not an actual threat. Or they could have just as easily asked the kid. Just ask the kid. Why is that, why is that so hard? Just ask the kid what he was drawing. Ask him, is this a school shooting? Like, take him into the office, ask him what he meant, and he said he would have easily just told you guys that it was a smash symbol it means time to smash no it is not a gun it is not about shooting up the school it's it is literally time to smash because it's december 7th and we all smashed jesus the school this oh this is why all of our money wasted on i'm sure a ton of money was wasted on investigation time police department uh funds the school spending time investigating it getting shut down there's so much stuff that went into this that was just a huge waste of time and money and a heartache on so many parents who thought their kids were and i mean i and my heart goes out to these parents who actually didn't know what was going on and thought there might be a school shooting on that day and something as silly as a smash symbol literally just caused all of this that's crazy from the 12th to the 14th a lot of people lost subscribers and i was kind of confused at first i didn't know what had happened i was talking to my roommate and i was like dude i lost a bunch of subscribers today like 18 subscribers and i don't know why this right here is actual footage of my subscriber count you can see you know i lose one gain one zero 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 and then all of a sudden on the 12th i lost 18 which is kind of weird because after that, I really, you know, gained one, lost one, zero, zero. This has been an account that I haven't been using for a while, keeping up with crypto. It has about a thousand plus subscribers on it. Since I haven't been using it, it gains and loses subscribers very slowly, you know. I'm not making any new videos, at least for the last few months. And then all of a sudden to see a drop of 18 was really weird for me. Like, I didn't understand what had happened. So I started looking it up, and then I saw a notice at the top of my creator studio mode, and it said that from the 12th through the 14th, YouTube was gonna be going in and getting rid of fake accounts, basically. So what they were doing is they were getting rid of inactive, fake, spam, all kinds of different pages that weren't actually real people. They were getting rid of, you know, anybody who's automatically subscribing to hundreds of other channels, anybody who hasn't been on in years, people who really aren't watching your videos anyway, so it's not as big a deal. It just drops your subscriber count. It won't really hurt your viewership or how many views you get on a video or how many, how much watch, it doesn't really hurt how much watch time you get. But it was just kind of a scary thing to see at the beginning because I was like, why did I just drop 18 subscribers? And while that may not be much to anybody else, to me, 18 subscriber really means something, you know, when I only have a thousand. And bigger channels were also hurt by this. Uh, PewDiePie being one of the biggest ones I know lost 40,000 subscribers, which is a lot of subscribers, especially to any smaller YouTubers. But to him, it wasn't that big of a deal, you know, coming out of 78 million subscribers, he got it back in, you know, like six hours or something. So nothing, nothing too big that he can't handle, but still 40,000 subscribers at one time, it's, it's just kind of crazy. Let me tell you though, people have been abusing the copyright system from YouTube and it, it is absolutely ridiculous. Honestly, you can copyright anything you want. Honestly, I could go to YouTube Rewind and copyright them saying they used a black guy that looked similar to me. So you can get away with anything that you say is copyrighted from a video because YouTube doesn't even really check it. Their algorithm is so sensitive and even whenever they put it in themselves and they say this is my music or this is my video or this whatever they don't always check it it's, it, it's ridiculous honestly i got copyrighted a few days ago on one of my own videos for the smash ultimate who can go across the bridge of elden and i'm not saying that i haven't ever used videos from other people before like some pro smash gameplay and stuff like that but i always make sure to give credit down in the bottom i don't say that it's my own content but on this one, it was all of my own content, which was really weird. I wondered why it was being copyrighted, so I went ahead and clicked on it. And as you can see, it's being copyrighted by two different people. Two people have claimed that their the music being used in my video is theirs. 
Which is weird because I actually got this music from a guy that I met on Instagram and he asked me if he could make me a beat for my videos and I told him, yeah, go ahead. And he made me a Zelda remix and that was it. That's all I used throughout the entire video. And it got claimed by two different artists that it's not even their music. Like I can, I can show you the video that he made. The link will be down below. Go check it out. You'll see that that's the exact song that he made and these people are trying to claim it. So, and there's nothing I can, I can file a dispute, but right now I'm not making any money off of these videos anyway, so it's not monetized, it's not a big deal. But for these bigger YouTubers like PewDiePie, like Mr. Beast, like all these other YouTubers, this, anybody that has a decent amount of subscribers, you can get demonetized for the dumbest things. And if I was demonetized for this, whenever I was making a lot of money off of it, that's a big deal. And I'd be pretty upset about it, really. There's no way that both of these companies First off, neither one of them obviously made the song because it was the other guy that made it for me. But for both of them to try to claim it and you two being okay with two different people claiming it, how can two different people claim it? You just it just I just blows my mind that people can get away with it, with trying to claim other people's stuff. Like it's so sensitive nowadays. You can't play one second of somebody else's song, which I don't get anyways because if I wrote a song I would love for people to be using it all over the internet and it gets exposure for me. As long as nobody's claiming that they wrote the song, I don't think it's that big a deal, honestly. But for somebody to be using like five seconds of your song, you just need to, you need to relax, you need to quit being so butthurt about it and trying to claim everybody's money. So basically, if I use three seconds of somebody's song in my 10 minute video, they get all of my money from it if they claim it. I, I don't get that. But there are people like PewDiePie who wrote Bitch Lasagna, which was a really good diss track. And it was it was a music video and people use it all over the internet. They use it everywhere. They use it in videos, they do remixes of it, people do play-alongs with guitar, piano, all kinds of stuff. And he doesn't claim any of it. He doesn't try to take monetization from anybody, which is super cool of him. And honestly, it gets him exposure. It gets him exposure all over the place and he knows that and that's why he does it he even explained in one of his videos that's why he doesn't claim it first off because he's not an asshole and second off because it gets some exposure people get to see his song in so many different places that he can't reach with his own channel either way people need to stop trying to take the monetization off of my channel when i don't even have a monetization okay you need to relax relax okay it ain't that big a deal all right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode today. I hope you learned something or at least were entertained by some of these things that were happening in the game and YouTube industries. Always something new going on, so I plan on making more of these Coog Newses. If I... Coog News? Coog... Coog News. If you have any recommendations on what I can talk about in the future, leave it in the comments below. I really love to see all the new stuff that's happening around me. I plan on talking about pro gameplay, tournaments, grand finals, um, new games coming out, all kinds of different stuff that we're going to cover on these videos. And then I also want to thank you one last time for 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I'm, I, I, am, I, I am so grateful. It's, it's been great. I really do want to make this a career, honestly, guys. YouTube, I love it. I love making videos for you guys. I love making entertaining stuff, stuff that can make you laugh, stuff that you can learn from. Just making things for you makes me happy. And I'm so glad that you guys are going down the journey with me. If you're new around here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification button while you're at it so you always know when we are making new content, which is pretty much every other day now. And as always, guys, remember, keep calm, keep up. And I'll see you in the next one. Say hi, Cruz, say hi, look at the camera, say hi, say hi, look at the camera, Cruz, look, look over here, look over here, Cruz, look over there, look over there. <laughs>